Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and I uh, bring you Zohorduck and all of his uh, green, purpley gloriness. So, Zohorduck is a boss with uh, four phases on normal and above difficulties. Excuse me, I'm going to check really quickly for you guys. I believe it's only three phases on uh, LFR difficulty. Let's take a quick look at the uh, LFR abbreviated guy here. Okay, he is a four-phase encounter. Alrighty then. Well, maybe not. Okay. Well, apparently he's still a full four-phased encounter. However, phase four looks like it's designed to make your healers weep. So, I... I significantly doubt that that's uh, actually nearly as bad in LFR, because when he's below 20% health on uh, normal and above difficulty, he uh, starts stacking up the... he starts basically debuffing the raid, making it so that his damage is eventually unhealable, and that's kind of like a, uh, a bit of an enrage mechanic, even though it's not really an enrage mechanic. So anyway, here... I'm going to go over the normal version of the fight over on IcyVeins.com. So, Icy slash or dash Veins.com. And uh, we'll take a look at this stuff here. So, I'm just going to go through the normal version here. I'm not going to bother with the LFR one. I did so in a previous take, and it turned out to just uh, make me run out of time here. So... We're going to go through this fight. Uh, there's uh, This video contains two attempts here. One attempt, this one right here, ends up being a wipe. I think soon, or during phase two, it wipes out or something. Anyway, and then in the second attempt, we get this sucker down. So let's get started here. I'm sorry if you guys were uh, looking for anticipation. I just spoiled the whole uh, video here, but this series is mostly about learning and uh, killing the fear. The fear is pretty much gone with me because I just... I'm just too old to give a fuck now. I'm 33, so uh, whatever. If uh, people are uh, pissed off at me, it's like, whatever. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, here, this friendly green giant right here, we need to uh, deal with this sucker, and uh, you need to tank switch when uh, the debuffs get stacked up too high on him here, so... Vanguard Achilleon is what this guy's name is, and uh, the main goal of Phase 1 here is to get the sucker down as fast as you can, and uh, then continue DPSing Zulfordak and get the uh, Phase 2 started, and then Phase 2 has uh, another ad named Onus, and uh, he has another debuff that the tanks need to switch out for when it gets too high, and uh, I think it's on Onus. Ah, for crying out loud, I can't pronounce things today. Omus. O-M-N-U-S. That's how he's spelled. I don't know how it's pronounced. I suck at pronunciation sometimes. This is one of those days, and I may be coming down with a cold or something. My throat hurts like a son of a bitch. Anyway. So, Vanguard Achillion, Bellblaze Frenzy. You need to make sure that you switch when that debuff gets too high. So as you can see there, from pretty much the start of the video, I had that uh, other tank there on focus. I recommend you do this in every single fight, please. That way you can check the debuffs that are on your other tank really easy, really simple-like. And when you see they're getting too high, when you see the other tank taking too much damage, taunt his target, and uh, then you'll start taking damage. They can start... Uh, deal with the ad that uh, lays on the debuffs, and he can deal with the other one, and it just generally makes things a lot easier, since there's usually very little communication in LFR, so uh, that's a very good visual indicator. So, let's continue on here. Phase 2, once again, perform a tank switch on Onus, Onus, when... Uh, Withering Gaze debuffs get too high, and during Phase 3, you need to tank switch for each Fell Strike or Void Strike. So you want one tank taking all the Fell Strikes, the other tank taking all the Void Strikes. Leave on the higher difficulties, you may explode if you don't do this. Also, 
Let's get over to positioning here, because this is important, and I don't think I actually uh, paid enough attention to this in the uh, first attempt here. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that you position the raid, because the tank is usually responsible for positioning the entire fight. You'll want to make sure that you either pick the left or the right side of the room for phase one, and then the other side of the room for phase two. So say you pick the left side for phase one, the right side for phase two. Now the reason for this is that Onus drops Fell Surge or Void Surge that uh, on players. It's a uh, debuff that does a little bit of damage for like five seconds or so, and then after that it drops a uh, Void Zone, Fire Zone, whatever, and that causes damage to the raid if you stand in it. So don't stand in the fire, don't stand in the purple fire. And uh, you need to... Apparently, if there's black holes, DPS need to uh, stand in them. At least three people need to be there to close them. That's that's something the DPS can deal with, quite frankly. And the DPS can also deal with all these ads here, these uh, little imps and any sort of void minions that pop up here. That's uh, a DPS top priority there, is to get those little bastards down as much as possible. And then the second priority is to kill the mini-boss that pops up during Phase 1 and 2, and then the third priority is to deal with Zoltorak himself. And as you can see, things are going south in a very quick way here, so I'm going to go over the details of Phase 1 now, just because uh, we're going to see it again, because we're wiping. Alrighty, so... Phase 1, the Legion's Flame. Bell Strike is an ability that Soul Hordak regularly uses on his current tank. It deals massive damage, fire damage in a single strike. Bell Surge is a targeted ability that Soul Hordak regularly uses. He targets a random amount of raid members, but always at least three. Applies a five second dot on them that deals moderate fire damage every time, uh, every second. When the dot expires, the affected players leave fiery poo on the ground. So otherwise known as Chaotic Bellblaze, which is there for the entire fight. Anyone who stands in it gets in a blaze stacking 15 second fire dot. So if you stand in it too long, you catch fire and you burn to death. So don't do it. Shortly after the beginning of the fight, as you can see, we already have him. Vanguard Achilleon is an ad that spawns shortly after the fight begins. He has a high amount of health, can be tanked, has to be tanked, and you need to tank switch once Fellblade Fury gets too high. Alright, very good. And the Wild Pyromaniacs are ads that spawn every 45 seconds in waves of 3 or 4. DPS, that should be their top priority there. And, uh, as I said before. The main goal is to get these mini-bosses down as quick as possible, get rid of the adds as quick as possible, and then just do as much damage to uh, Zol Hordak as quickly as possible, because the more damage we uh, dish out here, the less our healers have to heal, the less uh, us tanks have to tank, and uh, hopefully the less dying will happen. That's always good. So tanking concerns here. So I think this stuff I went through before. They advise, Icy Veins advises that you tank both of them close to either side of the room in phase two. Uh, they advise uh, that they tank uh, dealing with Onus on the opposite side of the room. This will allow the void zones from uh, both phases, Bell Surge in phase one, Void Surge in phase two, to be placed on opposite sides of the room. So, uh,. You don't want the uh, fire zones getting together, I believe they explode if that happens, and they will uh, kind of like connect with one another and spread a little bit. So let's go on to phase two here. Void Strike is an ability you so hard after regularly uses on his current tank. It deals massive shadow damage in a single strike. Alrighty, so you take heavy damage from Zolpordak. And you need to deal with Onus, and once again, Withering Gaze. As I said, it's a stacking debuff, and uh, you need to tank switch once this gets too high. And, uh... Oh, Singularity. This one I haven't seen before. May not be an LFR, but let's go over it. 
deals a lethal amount of shadow damage that is evenly divided between all players standing within 11 meters of the black hole and destroys the black hole. Cool. All right, so on its own, it probably does enough uh, damage to kill at least one player, probably three of them, so you need to uh, kind of cluster up there to uh, split the damage. All righty. So the strategy, once again, very similar. Try not to die the way I did just there uh, right now. And uh, Zolhordak and Onus must be taken through phase two. Tank them close to the opposite side of the room. They say this a million times. It's almost like this is important, you would think. Hmm? Almost like it's really important. So anyway, let's go ahead and get down to phase three here. So phase three is when Onus actually goes down. Then uh, it'll last from when Onus dies until Zolhordak gets to 20% health. So this phase, when it pops up, and we're still on phase two, just visually here. Zolhordak will switch rapidly between uh, the uh, Fell Surge and Void Surge, and Fell Strike and Void Strike. Basically, things start to get a little bit crazy here. So these abilities are very similar to their phase one and phase two versions. The thing that tanks need to deal with is that they need to be prepared to tank switch pretty much constantly. So once there's a fell strike on the one tank, you need to switch to get ready for the void strike. Because it's probably a really bad idea to have the opposites on there, you may explode. They recommend moving the boss to the middle of the room at this point. Your raid members will have best access to both sides of the room, where chaotic Fellblaze void zones are, and creeping void zones uh, from phase two are located as well. That's important to the strategy, so basically it gives you space, is what it sounds like here. You need space. Your DPS will have to prioritize killing the adds while still doing enough damage to Zolhordak to bring him down to 20 percent as quickly as possible. And finally, we get to phase number four here where he's tearing apart. It looks like he's just going a little bit crazy at this point here. So unfortunately, I can't actually see the percentage marker there. Uh, yeah, I think he's still just above 20 percent here. But yeah, I'm uh, recording this content in the uh, movie editor, so I'm not sure. So uh, he continues to do his Fell Strike and Void Surge under 20%, and gains, uh, and uh, yeah, Fell Surge, Void Surge continue as well, and Overwhelming Chaos is the new ability he gets there. So this ability is used every 10 seconds. It deals heavy chaos damage to all raid members, so tank and everybody else and his damage, and increases his damage done by 20% each time he uses it. As time goes on, the damage becomes unhealable, because of course he'll go up like 100%, 200%, <laughs> hopefully not that fast, but uh, yeah, he's going to do a lot more damage to you, so at that point just nuke the living crap out of him DPS, and hopefully everything will be good. So once again, positioning guys. Very, very important during this fight, at least from uh, what Icy Veins is uh, telling us here. So, phase one, tank him on one side of the room. Phase two, tank him on the other side of the room. Phase three, tank him in the middle. Hopefully everything will be good there. You get to stay away from the uh, fiery crap, and as you can see right there, just like a few seconds ago, the fiery crap's in one corner, the purple crap's in the other corner, and we're standing in the middle here, and it looks like things are mostly good, only... Uh, all right, four people have died now, but if he goes down and uh, the raid's mostly alive, that's still a win. And I think he might just go down. There he goes. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching this guide, guys. Uh, or guide. It's not much of a guide. It's uh, kind of like a let's tank almost. But uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video, guys. I hope you found it uh, to be helpful, possibly entertaining but at least insightful. And uh, yeah, if any of you guys uh, still have that fear of uh, 
tanking um, in LFR. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll have more words of wisdom later when I can think. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time with the Manoroth video and then Archimond after that.